Dominic in Switzerland, how are you? Oh, hello, fine, Matt. And uh, how are you, guys? I'm, I'm doing very well. Yeah, doing okay. Um, I don't know, do you see that on your laptop? I'm actually an atheist, too. Mm -hmm. And I have a few questions about your way. Um, first of all, I'm very happy I came through. <laughs> a little bit surprised. Um, I recently started to study actually the Bible because I never, it was never that interesting to me. My parents raised me to believe what I wanted to. I attended uh, the school where we had the uh, religion taught and um, yeah, I choose, uh, did choose the obvious one for me not to believe in a, uh, for me, unjustified belief system. Right. And uh, then uh, recently, I watched a religious from Bill Moore mm. and uh, watched a few of your shows and then started to read the Bible. And uh, I'm stuck. I can't read the page. <laughs> it's so ridiculous, this stuff. I mean, seriously, I wanted to see a, a sense, but on the first two pages in Genesis, there are so many logical errors. I mean, First of all, on the sixth day, God created man and woman, and then in the next chapter, suddenly there are no humans, and he <laughs> made Adam, and yeah. Yeah, there, there's, and there, there's, a, there's a, if you talk to Christian apologists, they'll say that there's not a conflict between Genesis 1 and Genesis 2, that it's two separate accounts of the same events, one being... Uh, a literal timeline and one being kind of a here's what happened in a broader sense um, I, uh, I'll tell you this I you know gr granted I don't know um, your English seems to be very good I I'd recommend something like uh, skeptics annotated dictionary at com and also there's a place uh, a, an online site called Bible Gateway uh, dot com that has a bunch of different translations it's it's actually just a Bible site there's no commentary or anything there um, but if you don't have a compelling reason I mean, if, it, if this is just a matter of curiosity and you're finding yourself bored and befuddled right off the bat, uh, there's no reason to continue. It doesn't get a whole lot better. <laughs> yeah, I made my uh, marks in the PDF version I had, and that there are some story parts. Like, uh, I, I don't know the name exactly, but someone had a son, uh, actually two sons, and uh, one had a wife, but then God kills him. No further explanation, so just kills him because he's evil, somehow. <laughs> then God, uh, no, the father tells the other son to marry the wife of the one who's dead, sure. and he doesn't want it to because this, this would be like betrayal of his brother who's dead, and then um, he refuses to marry this woman, and God kills him too. Yeah, you, you might Why? be talking about you might be talking about Onan, um, who actually did marry his brother's wife, but when he when he uh, went, yeah. went to consummate it, he well, did not. Uh, yeah, you have to understand that the the idea behind it was that if your brother died and didn't leave children, then it was up to you to marry the wife and then make children so that your brother had children. So it was sort of like taking over and making sure he has progeny to leave his possessions to. Um, and it was supposed to be doing your brother a favor by taking on his wife and then producing children on his behalf because you're the closest male relative that should, I guess, do that. But that was a cultural thing with them. And yes, it's a little bit weird, but when your whole setup is about a patriarchal lineage of property, it becomes very important that you have children, specifically male children. Okay. Um, <laughs> uh, one thing, I uh, heard a few shows back from Tracy, I think, was the, the thing about how religious people um, look, view these things. And this was very fascinating because I couldn't figure out how they justify such horrible things. And I think many of the people who attend church in my uh, town haven't really read the Bible. and. 
I think if I would talk to them about this stuff, they uh, would be probably pretty shocked. But I r don't do this because I don't want to want to upset them. Um, one other thing I want to add to this conversation, uh, probably you guys uh, did this too, is the the di thing about creationists and uh, uh, thanks. <laughs> We uh, we haven't got that many in Switzerland. <laughs> That's uh, good. <laughs> um, they always use they when they want to present evidence. They just um, seem to point out errors in the chain of evolution, and that's so ridiculous. I mean, that's that's no evidence. That's just uh, propositions and. Uh, I, I I just want to say to all viewers that are creationists, if evolution was wasn't the fact and it is false, or if tomorrow it w was disproven, what's the, what's the whole point? I mean, there's not only two possibilities; there are there are uh, thousands and more. I mean, really. It, if, uh, yeah, Dominic, I've actually... If evolution was the cause, then, then this, this doesn't mean it was a god or something yeah. likely. And yep, we're all, yeah, we're all in the same boat the world over. Yeah. Religion, yeah. That's another point. I, I've, done that, I've done that before with um, creationists on the phone, actually. I've said, okay, let's just say, crea let's say evolution is wrong and let's move on with your evidence for creationism. And inevitably, they keep attacking evolution. I have to keep stopping them and saying, no, we're going to agree hypothetically evolution is wrong. Let's see your, you know, your evidence for creationism. And they go right back to attacking evolution. Th there is no evidence. Okay. It, it's, it's all just, you know, the, 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 the current model is wrong. And it's like, and, okay. And we're completely out of time, but thanks so much for calling. Yeah. I appreciate it. Uh, thanks for waiting. If you're still on the line, uh, you might want to hang on for a minute, and we'll see if we can get to you after the show is actually over. Thanks, everybody, for turning out. There's the list of people who actually do the work behind the show. Uh, I just show up here and, uh, I don't know, argue or something. So uh, we'll, see, we'll see you next week. Thanks, everybody.